So, in this video, I would like to give you a native perspective in Brazil of a thing that uh, happens in the sexual market. Uh, let me say like this, okay? Um, is the hypergamy and the red pill principles. Are they apply here in Brazil? How, how it works here, okay? And I'm a native, okay, here in Brazil. And I will expose my point of view based on the podcasts I watch. I watch a lot of things uh, in the United States podcasts here in Brazil and I compare uh, the principles and everything that and let's talk a little bit more about it here, okay? So first of all, um, I, I knew Rolo Tomasi that is one of the main creators in this red pill niche here um, a long time ago and I've been... <laughs> Um, I've been um, following up with these principles and studying a lot more about the red pill principles. Um, and these days, uh, recently, I was watching like dating podcasts, the whatever podcast. Maybe you know this podcast is very popular on the United States. They record in California, I think. Very interesting, a table with a lot of feminism, feminists has a lot of anti-feminists and men arguing and uh, the first thing I notice is the women in the United States are ugly compared with the women here, okay, <laughs> sorry for that, but it's the truth, okay, uh, the first point I, I observed and the second point I observed is the uh, the point they argue. They are very similar with the points people argue, argue here. Okay. Um, and are women here a hypergamous or not? And I could say yes, man. Yes. The, nat the nature works here as any place in the world. Okay. It's not different here. What women here are, yes, hypergamic, and I could say they are highly, high hypergamic here. I don't like to generalize things like every woman's hypergamy because um, I know I know women that are not hypergamic here, but again, they they are the exceptions. In every everything in life has the exceptions. We cannot generalize. Never, but in general, uh, women here are hypergamic. So, there is a big problem here in Brazil that we have an army of single women, as we have in the United States and rich country. Uh, the same thing here in Brazil. But here in Brazil, uh, the thing gets worse than in other places because Brazil is a very poor country and unequal. And women, they go very, very well in their jobs, um, generally, okay? Uh, and women here in Brazil are beautiful. They take about their body. Uh, they, take about, they take care about their teeth. Uh, they, they have financial stability. And the thing here in Brazil um, is more serious in this kind of single single woman uh, the late 30s 35 because they don't find a partner but as i said here in brazil is a very poor country so if women are here they went from here above and they don't find because brazil is a very poor country okay the men cannot find jobs okay the jobs here are very uh, they make few money just a few money uh, brazil is really really a poor country okay uh, so it's very difficult for the women have this financial support, let me say like this, in the majority of men. So they expect above, but they don't find in a, a, a huge amount, let me say like this here in Brazil. Okay, because I, I don't blame the men here. Brazil is very difficult. I, I say this in, in the other videos, Brazil is not for amateurs. When I look the life of the foreigners in the Europe, in the United States, I see how easy their life is, 
Okay, man, the fact you can work in McDonald's and like can, and you can like buy an iPhone is kind of crazy. It's very easy life. The roads have not holes. The many times they cannot, they don't have to worry about the violence, the crimes. Man, it's an easy life compared with the Brazilian. Brazilian, Brazilian people cannot even get a job. It's something very difficult to to achieve unless you be a public servant. But this is video for another. This is stop for another video. So that's it. Women find and they don't. They look and they don't find and when, and when they find, they go straight ahead. That chats that have money, that are tall and strong, I think like this. So to conclude this, the fact that Brazil is a poor country and hypergamy here is the same as the rest of the world makes this problem of single women above the 30s, 35 be more serious here, I think, um, than in other parts of the world. Okay, so that's my point of view from native here. If you like this, if you have any questions, comment, or you dis disagree with me, whatever, put in the comment. So that's it. See you. Bye.